There's this uh, TV commercial from a few years back, sticks in my memory, where you see this couple, very professional, clearly, you know, very artistically minded. They're, they're depicted as people who, who like the best, who, who want things with style and class. They go to an architect to have their house built, and they plunk down in front of the architect the sink the sink that they want to have in their bathroom and they say to the architect design the whole house around this and it, it stuck in my head because it it, it it seems on the one hand kind of a silly thing right the house should not necessarily be built around a sink you should you know make sure it's got a roof make sure it's got enough bedrooms like don't don't design the house based on it's got this sink in it but it you know should accommodate the people who are going to be living in it. But that idea, that idea has stayed with me. About how, how would a house be different if you designed everything in light of it's got to go with this sink? And I've been thinking a lot lately about how we make sense of this faith of ours as the followers of Jesus. This coming Sunday is a day that in the Lutheran tradition we remember as Reformation Sunday. A day when a little more than 500 years ago, our older brother in the faith, Martin Luther, began what eventually became a, 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 a movement that, that changed the course of church history and became uh, the movement that we're a part of, the Lutheran branch of the Christian family tree. And about what it means to be Lutheran Christians, especially in a time and in a day and age when we treat church belonging like it's just a brand, like, oh, you're a Coke person, you're a Pepsi person, you're a Ford, you're a Chevy, you're a Subaru, you're a Nissan. And what does it mean to be Lutheran, Presbyterian, Methodist, Roman Catholic, Orthodox, any of that? And for that matter, do we just treat these different labels like they're simply one brand over another? And I like the cup holders that this brand offers, or I like the kind of engine on this one, or I like the, the look of this kind of car, and I like this kind of song in my church. Are we just a brand? I think at our best, Lutheran Christians are people trying to do what happens in the commercial, to build the faith as the followers of Jesus around a particular center point. Of all the other things you could center Christianity on, the Lutheran voice in the chorus is sort of saying, what if we built our whole faith around this sink? But the sink is the free gift of God's grace in Christ Jesus. The gift of what God has done for us in Jesus at the cross and the death and resurrection of Jesus. And that if that's the center point, how does everything else get changed in light of that at the center? See, I, I think in that regard, it's a way of, of making sense of how we're similar to other Christian groups out there. And yeah, obviously, there are lots of ways that Presbyterian Christians and Methodist Christians and, and Orthodox Christians and Lutheran Christians and Roman Catholic Christians have a lot of things in common. But what, what do we feel like is at the heart of who we are? I think for 500 years, Lutheran Christians have been trying, not always well, not always perfectly, but have been trying to be people who say, what if we built the whole house around the good news of God's grace in Jesus, the good news of God's free gift, that God's done it all, and that therefore the whole rest of the house isn't something you have to earn your way into. You're in as a gift of God. Now, how will you live in this household in light of what God's already done as a free gift? How will you live your life knowing the clearest glimpse we get of who or what God is isn't the, um, the, 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 the might and power of a lightning bolt or the, the fear that an earthquake or a fire puts into you, but the love that lays down its life at a cross. That God is most clearly seen in all the places we don't expect a respectable God to show up in, in suffering and death with, with the outcast and the stranger in ordinary stuff like bread and wine and water flowing freely. To be a follower of Jesus is, to some degree or another, trying to build your whole life around who this Jesus is. 
To be a Lutheran Christian is to be a part of a tradition that's been trying to do exactly that, but even centering Jesus on the Jesus that is seen most clearly at the cross. Because man, is it easy to try and remake Jesus over into our likeness as well. Man, is it easy to treat Jesus just like he's our mascot and whatever other things I want Jesus to stand for, I just slap a cross on or say this is what Jesus back. Man, that's a way of re trying to remake Jesus in our image or to support our agendas. To be a Lutheran Christian, I think, is at our best, at our most honest, is to say we're attempting to build the whole house around this sink, to build the whole way we see the world, the whole way we live out our faith on the center point of God's free gift that claims and saves and redeems and brings us into new community because of what God has done for us in Jesus, rather than us trying to achieve or attempt or accomplish on our own. That's going to change everything else about the way we see our lives. There are going to be some things we hold in common across different Christian traditions. You would hope Christians of any stripe are going to do service projects and love their neighbors and talk about forgiveness and try and be decent, honest people and not be bullies. Yeah. To be a Lutheran Christian, I think, is about making sure the horse and the cart get put in the right order. That we don't do certain things in order to make God love us. That we don't do things in order to rack up gold stars or bonus points or to avoid, you know, red marks on our permanent record. But rather, we live a certain way out of the graceness we have already received that flows like free-flowing water out of the sink. We're people who, as preposterous as it sounds, try to build the whole house of our theology, our whole way of life around a strange focal point the cross of Jesus, where God says, I'll do it all. I'll do the laying down of my life. I'll do the claiming. I'll do the saving. I'll do the rescuing. We find ourselves found. We find ourselves gathered into this house that God's love has built for us. No achieving, no earning, no accomplishing, no worrying about if I do bad enough, will I get voted out of the club or kicked off the island? None of that. Instead, we're people who dare to live like this center point, the cross of Jesus, the free-flowing gift of grace, really is the heart of everything, and to see everything else through that light. That's what we're about when we gather and worship on Sundays. It affects how we read the Bible together, how we try and live and serve our neighbors, even how we live our daily lives. And that's what you're invited to be a part of. Join us on Sunday when we look again at what it means to be people who are trying to build the whole house around the sink. In other words, who try and see all of our faith in light of this central, surprising good news of God's freely flowing gift of grace in Jesus beyond our earning or achieving or accomplishing our goodness or badness even, or even how well we believe, but simply in the goodness of who God is as God's been shown to us in the cross and resurrection of Jesus. Help us rearrange everything in light of the free gift we've already found there. See you Sunday.